Hello, Gary Simon here with the Design Letter and DesignCourse.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how exactly to design this Microsoft logo. Um, I'm going to have to go really fast because I only have about nine minutes or so uh, with the promo that I have at the end uh, in the intro at the beginning to get this tutorial done because 10 minutes total is the maximum time I can upload a YouTube video. That's their stupid restriction. I don't know why. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go to File, New, Width 800, Height, I'm going to put at 500. You can put whatever you want, just something to fill up the uh, space of the screen. And we're going to start here with the ellipse tool. If that's not selected, just hold and drag out and select the ellipse tool. We're going to choose a dark color for our background. Hit OK. And then just hold Shift and get a perfect circle started right here in the center. OK, so now let's go ahead to the pen tool. Well, first we're going to change our foreground color to something like a real red slash orange color. Then we're going to take the pen tool with the shape layer selected and we're just going to try to get the basic shape first. And we're, we'll be able to reuse this for the other three window panels. I guess that's what you can call them. Alright, so drag out and hold the Alt key, click once, get rid of that tangent. Come down here. Now it may take you a while to get it right, the shape at first. Hold Alt and then close it up. Now it looks like this side is off too far, so if you want to make adjustments, just go to your direct selection tool, select on the anchor point, and then use your arrow keys and you can make finer adjustments. Alright, so that looks good. Now we have to give it an emboss effect. So let's right double click on the right side of the layer with the left mouse button. And that brings this up. Let's go ahead and select bevel and emboss and you see it makes the updates in real time and let's go ahead and change depth to something around 32 percent and size down as well okay um, maybe just the size can be up a tad bit alright and then we want to change the top highlight mode here that color to something like almost in an orange, a light orange color, and then the bottom one to something a little bit darker. Hit OK. All right. Then we're going to give it a gradient overlay. So select that and click here on gradient. Oh, first we're going to cancel. First we want to change it to a radial gradient, and then come over here and move it right about there, and then scale it up all the way. Angle also changes the scale a little bit too. We want to come around here to make it big. And then click on gradient. And then select this first one right here. And what I'm going to do is just put one right next to it and then get rid of this one. You just drag and pull it off. Bring this one all the way over there. Double click on this one. We're going to make it lighter, like a yellow. So that gives it kind of a cool effect. Hit OK. Hit OK and hit OK. That's our first one. So what we're going to do now is duplicate it. Right click, duplicate layer, hit OK. And we're going to move it over. Ooh, as you can see, I kind of messed up. This line should be adjusted more. So we're going to delete that. We can make a quick adjustment by going to our direct selection tool, selecting this one over here. And we want these two lines to be parallel basically. Let's see if that did anything. Duplicate layer. Let's move it back over. All right, that's that's better. Now we have to flip this because it's not in the right orientation. So go edit, transform, flip horizontal. Edit, transform, flip vertical. All right, there we go. All right, so that's not too bad. Let's go ahead and edit this one. Actually, better yet, we'll take these two layers, hold control, and select both of them. Right click, duplicate layers, hit OK, and drop right down so that they line up. All right, so let's take our second one, which is this one right here, and that one's going to be green. So 
you just drop this down click on gradient overlay click on the gradient color this is the lighter color so it's gonna be a color like around here hit OK and then this is gonna be the darker green select right around here hit OK hit OK and then move it over here All right. Okay, and then we could change the bevel and blah. So you can tell uh, there's a little bit of orange up here. We could just change this to a green. And then change this one, something around there. Hit OK. Then we got one over here. Uh, this is going to be a blue one. So let's click on gradient overlay. Change it to a light blue right here. Hit OK. Double click on that one. Darker blue, hit OK. And bevel and boss, change this to a light one. Change this one to darker. There we go. Hit up, well, we have to go back real quick. Gotta put this right position, hit OK. And then we have a final one right here. Same steps. Let's click over here. It's gonna be. Actually, it's going to be very close, maybe just a little bit brighter, and then this one's going to be near yellow. All right, and I think that looks good. So let's, oops, sorry, I did the same exact thing last time. Let me go back over here and just move this in the correct position. Hit OK. All right, so those are our four little uh, layers that create this icon here, and if you have more time, you could probably further refine the shape to make it look exactly like what theirs does. Uh, but now we'll just focus on the background. Let's go ahead and create a new layer. So you can do that through a sh keyboard shortcut or up here, new layer. And we're going to use a previous layer to create a clipping mask. Select that, hit OK. Then we're going to choose the brush tool at like 300 feathered brush. Then we're going to take the foreground. Click here in the, this uh, background color and make it a real light blue. And then just click once right there. Pretty cool effect. Now we're going to create another ellipse, okay, just above it. Hold the Shift, Alt, and Control key all at the same time after you click. And we'll put it right around there. We want it to be center. Then we're going to right click rasterize layer and then change first I want to change the brightness here that doesn't really affect it then what I want to do is take the eraser tool and just delete this part down here or get rid of and we can change with the opacity, make it a little bit less. And that is it. As you can see, it's uh, pretty easy to go ahead and uh, create something that looks pretty uh, impressive in a very short amount of time. All right, uh, that is all for now. Uh, Gary Simon here, and go ahead and check out designcourse.com if you haven't already. Uh, there are a lot of awesome tutorials, and I will see you later. Goodbye.